What's up guys, welcome to my channel. I'm the True Red Dragon, and lately I've seen a lot of gameplay for the newly released Resident Evil 7, and it seems like every person I've watched has the same question once they pick up a certain item in the beginning of the game. I'm talking about the victim list, found by the bolt cutters just outside of Mia's cell. On that list are names of individuals, and next to those names are either the words dead or turned, with the exception of two names. Mia has nothing next to her name, implying that she's alive. This is confirmed moments after picking up the list. The other name is Clancy, with the letter L next to it. So the question I've heard every Let's Player I've watched ask is, what the hell does L mean? Well, I've been paying close attention and rewatched some of the gameplay, and I think I've figured it out. And I can't wait to fill you guys in and see what you guys think. So Clancy, cameraman, and player character of the demo, Andre, the guy who wanders off and dies in the basement, and Peter, the host of the show, are the crew members of the Sewer Gators in the Derelict House footage videotape. Andre is the body that floats up in the water. You can tell by examining it. If you look closely, you can see his hair and clothes are the same as they were in the video. His eye wound, where his head was impaled on the pipe, is still very much there. And, if you're paying attention, the pipe is right around the corner from where he floats up, and his dried blood is still on that pipe. The list also confirms that Pete, whose status was previously unknown, is in fact dead and has not been turned into a molded creature. I know that in the bad ending of the demo, Pete is killed by what looks to be possessed Mia, but for the true ending, we don't see actually what happens to Pete at all. Speaking of true endings, in the true ending to the demo, Clancy escapes the house via the attic. So the L on the list next to his name probably stands for left or lost. Now, that's just my guess, but they certainly fit and they certainly do make sense. The ghost in the videotape is clearly Mia, but this makes for a bit of a plot hole, as Mia is still alive in the actual game, and the events of the game occur after the events of the beginning hour trailer. So, this leads me to believe that the Mia ghost from the demo was simply a device to make the trailer more creepy, and, for later updates, to use for the dummy hand puzzle. But perhaps I'm wrong, and the ghost is actually Evelyn, manifested as Mia, watching the crew of sewer gators, stalking her prey as it were. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really loving this game, and I hope you guys are too. This game really has brought brought everything back to the roots of survival horror that really Resident Evil started off on. And it started to lose its way going off on the action game type of path that it was going on, but I'm glad to see it kind of return to form, really. So let me know what you guys think of the game. Are you loving it as much as I am? If not, let me know. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.